With 700 million Facebook and 500 million Twitter users, many lives are affected by the use of social media. Not knowing the privacy settings and the dangers about posting inappropriate things can ruin someone's reputation. A roundtable put on by the Office of Information Technology at UNLV and UNLV Police addressed the dangers and consequences misusing social media can have. People shared their personal stories and enjoyed some free pizza, all while trying to learn the tricks Facebook can play on users. Lori Temple, Vice Provost for the UNLV Office of Information Technology, emphasizes awareness is key when it comes to social media. The, I think the most important thing they can do is really pay attention to the privacy page and go through every single link on the privacy page on Facebook and decide whether or not they want things public or not and really understand what they've signed on to when they've signed on to Facebook. Re read the privacy um, statements and read the terms of agreement and know what, they're, uh, what could happen with their information. Those with Twitter have further worry because of a recent decision that affects any tweet that goes out over Twitter. Joe Winton of the UNLV Office of Information Technology explains what that is. Last year, the Library of Congress uh, started to archive all, all tweets, and so all public t uh, Twitter posts um, are now in the Library of Congress archive, and, and pretty soon will be searchable by the public. Uh, so that has a lot of implications. They're going back to March 2006, so uh, there's a lot of data there that uh, potentially people may not want out there. Using Twitter properly and changing certain settings can lessen the worry. Watch what they post, use common sense, and if they don't want uh, them to be archived at all, they can turn on protected tweets. Um, so there's a, there's a setting in the Twitter uh, privacy settings to turn on protected tweets, and that will prevent the Library of Congress from archiving those. These steps may seem time-consuming, but it could be the difference between getting a job or lining up at the unemployment office. For Studio G. I'm Stephen Marsh.